Welcome to the journalist DJ.com. And uh, today, my guest goes by the name The Finalist. And uh, if you follow Deep House, this is your guy. One of the most respected, respected guys in the game. I was supposed to have a chat um, with him earlier this week, but it got delayed. So yeah, man, you know, today I'm chatting to the vinyl SA. Yeah. And I can't wait to get to know him better and ask him a couple of questions about his career. Hey, brother, how are you? Oh, great. Can you hear me, bro? Hola. Yo, okay. I think the, the, there's a bit of a delay. Uh, I'm having a... I'm good, man. I'm, I think I'm having a bit of a network problem, but let me just quickly check something. Okay. All right. Cool. Um, yeah, I'm nice. How's it? No, no, no. I'm nice. I'm nice, bro. So should I, should I, should I go out and then we start, we start over again? Or should we just continue? Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go out and then I'm going to come back again because uh, the finalist has some network issues. Uh, hey, shout out, shout, shout out Vega, brother. Uh, Vegas, I hope you're good, man. I hope you're good, bro. Um, so yeah, uh, I'll, I'll be back. I'll be back. I'll be back. What's up, Chantel? What's up, Chantel? Uh, I hope you're good. I'm supposed to be chatting to the finalist. So he's having some network issues, so he'll be back shortly. So as I was saying, you know, I don't think I'm going to go out, but I'm just going to wait on him. As I was saying that, you know, he's one of those uh, respected guys in the Deep House scene. So if you follow Deep House, you know, then you must know a guy called The Vinylist. And I cannot wait to chat to The Vinylist. Um, he's just having technical issues right now so it's all love it's all good please make sure to follow the journalist um on twitter it's at dj journalist on instagram it's obviously the journalist dj on facebook is the journalist dj on tiktok is the journalist dj and of course check out the magazine um the journalist dj.com it's all about dance, music, culture, young toy. So, yeah, man. Uh, yeah, my guy, I'm good. back. Good to have you back. Good to have you back, bro. So, yeah, um, man, I know, hope I hope I'm audible, right? You know, you are audible. You are audible. I can hear you loud okay. and clear. Okay, perfect, perfect. So, yeah, man, let's get to it, bro. You know, um, you are known in the, in the deep house scene, but for those that don't know, you know, who is the finalist and how did you get that name? <laughs> um, the finalist is a multi-genre music producer, DJ. Uh, I'm a creative all around, all around. Uh, started making music when I was like 13. I was in, I was in, I was in primary school. I think I was doing grade seven. Grade six, grade seven, around that, that around that time, and I, I had a couple of names before until 2010. That's when I got the name Vinylist. So I think, yeah. But even when the name Vinylist was there, there were other names that you know, other aliases that I would use. Yeah, I used to be, I, I used to rap, I used to rap, I used to call myself the Cash. <laughs> Because <laughs> at that time, there was a, when I started making music, um, I started producing hip hop specifically. Because um, I had a couple of friends who were doing hip hop by that time, and they were like, "No, we need beats." In fact, they were not doing hip hop; they were they were dancing. They were dancers. They were used to do this cramping stuff and all that. So they wanted to get into music, and they had a they, they had a crew. Uh, it was a bit established uh, at that point, and. I started making beats for them, and we started recording, um, started, you know, uh, creating more content. But as time goes, went on, 
I started to learn, go into YouTube, start uh, equipping myself with, with, with the information. And mind you, that time was uh, 2010, 2011. Data was not really friendly to get at that point. So, and, 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 and the name part came because I loved DJing. Before even the whole thing of music production, even thinking of that, I loved DJ. I would DJ with my with my computer at occasions at home because uh, we have we have a preschool for kids. So usually when there's those functions, year end functions, you know, gatherings and all that, I would pull up, play, and yeah, that was it. That was it. That was it. And then. I wanted a name that would resonate with what I'm doing. And I was like, vinyls. Because I didn't know what... You know, I, 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 I knew what, what we would call now CDJs uh, as vinyls. Everything, I used to call it vinyls because I thought as long as you're mixing, it's a vinyl. So <laughs> that was it. So I, 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 I was like, okay, vinyl, vinyl. Okay, okay. Man... So the specialist is, you know, journalist, you know, there's all those sort of things. <laughs> so I was like, oh, finalist. So, so it was a name that I, 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 I just had. And I didn't see the value of the brand until um, late, late, late 20, 2013. No, late 2012. I didn't see the value of the name, the brand itself. Because I was just doing music, didn't really put much of the content out. I actually started releasing publicly in 2014. Oh, okay. And and right at that point, I did a single with Orbs, which was to be featured on Into Deep. And that time I was in like grade 10, if I'm not wrong. Grade 10, yeah, grade 10, grade 11, if I'm not wrong. Uh that was when we did that single go you gotta go uh yeah i was in grade 10 yeah if i remember and i remember i had changed schools because i i used to go to different i went to different schools like throughout high school i've been uh, i I was a good kid (laughs) let's end it there (laughs) okay so yeah and then I released that, and I got so much, so much attention. And I didn't know what House Africa was really was. I knew House Africa. I knew, you know. And when I got the first call from Tim White saying we want to license that, I was like, oh, come on, this, this, this is probably someone messing with me. Mm. And I was like, okay, fine, sharp. Sure. Uh, we sent through the masters, and then we, we 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 submitted the songs, and boom, my music is on a CD. First year, I'm getting out. About before that, but before that, I had released an EP with uh, this label, uh, uh, UM Recordings, by a friend of mine, Saul, the cause. He used to be part of uh, Urban Music, a duo. Uh, and then, yeah, that was it. That was it. Wow. So, already in high school, you know, you're getting a call from Team White. Your music is, is being featured, you know, in House Africa. And yeah. you were, you were like, yo, you know, um, this is this is actually dope. You, you're getting serious big career. But how mm. did you? What made you decide that you know what you want to focus on like electronic music, the same? Uh, as I said before, I've I've been I've been I've been more into I've I've loved music all my life. I would say. I mean, I I recall so much of my childhood memories was. I, everything resonated around music. I, I used to, I used to play, you know, campana, campana practice So I went where I grew up. We used to play as kids, and I don't know how to play soccer. Uh, I never played soccer. Um, I can't play my pasty. You know, marble. I never really played most of this. <laughs> so, but most of the time, one thing I could recall is I used to. What would, do you know? Uh, Popo tree. We have popo trees in in our in our in our in our in our, in our township. What I remember is I used to. You know, popo trees, ne? No, what are those? Popo, popo, my popo, popo. 
Pai, bro. Pai, pai. They call it pai, pai. Le popo. Nah. Don't you know pai, pai? You you definitely know. It's a fruit. It grows. It grows <laughs> mostly this side of of Limpopo. It's there. It has like this black seeds inside. It's yellowish. It's orangeish inside. Oh, it's a yeah. very tag. Popo. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, the tree that that gives yeah uh, that uh, the tree for for that fruit. The stems were open inside. They have a hole. And then when they have a hole inside, we when they are dried up, we would cut them and then take a plastic, put them in the other side, open a hole on top, and then on the other side you would blow it. It would make a sound like a trumpet. So that's more, one of the things that I really recall mostly about my childhood. That I at some point when as I grew up, I realized no, all these things like I had the right signs like directing me that oh this is. This is where I'm going. And, but I didn't know until when I was at this point. I was like, damn, I'm, I'm actually a musician. And, and I didn't know how it, 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 it came about. But I mean, mm. I, I know much more about music. And I, I didn't go to school for that. And I've never enrolled at any college for music, for mixing, mastering, pro- producing, or whatever. Um, every day, it's, it's a learning it's a learning. It's a learning curve for me. I I learn on a daily basis. Um, I had to learn how to make music. I had to now, uh, for the past for the past uh, 2017, 18, 19, 20, for the past four years, I've been focusing mostly on the business side of music, more than just understanding, knowing how to make music. But I was, as well as uh, even though I was still like re- perfecting my craft. I'm, even now, I'm not the best musician on earth, but um, I'm always learning. I, I always go out there, meet people, take time to just go on YouTube, check out guys who are doing uh, music, nice stuff, and like learn something new. And But then the past four years, I was like, let me get into the music business. Let me understand what I'm dealing with here, because now that's after high school. I matriculated in 20s, 2015. 2016, I went to, went to Joburg. I was doing my first year at Boston. I was doing marketing management. And uh, uh, eight months down the line, I was like, nah, this is not me. Uh, I can't feel this. I don't feel this. But also there were factors involved because remember, if you have been following me for the past uh, seven years, around, let's say, yeah, for the past six years, seven years, I released an album in 2017 with House Africa. Mzense House, uh, Volume 4. So at that time, I was doing my first year. I'm new in Gauteng. First time lived in Gauteng. First time being in Gauteng without parents. I'm there. I'm like, okay. So I'm pushing. I got an album coming out. So I started focusing on the album. I, I was like, school can wait for me. I'm not coming back to this thing. I'm probably going to blow, but hey, life happened. <laughs> you can't predict the future. So, uh, <laughs> uh, and then, yo, um, I lost you there. I think network is, is it's a bit of an issue. Um, yo, bro. Um, if you just tuned in, welcome to the journalistdj.com. I was chatting to the finalist, and uh, there there are network issues there. So he was just telling us about his career and you know the moves that he's been making and all that jazz so i think we might need to end it there i'm not sure i want to wait for a couple of seconds to see if he's going to come back i was going to ask him about you know uh, the daily release campaign that he has going on the vinylist is dropping like crazy 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 amount of songs it's actually insane the amount of music that the vinylist has out there and um I was going to ask him about that because I'm like, yo, man, 
that's crazy bro like you are releasing music like every other week or something so <laughs> you know i'm looking forward to that um uh so yeah let me see if i can have the vanilla bag yo bro yeah no uh, uh, sorry man i'm having a bit of a network problem here i uh, know what is no what is bro um i'm i think i'm just going to ask you like two more questions na uh and then and then we can wrap it up since the network is not on our side uh if you can hear me can you just tell us about you know the finalist daily release like you've been dropping a lot of music and uh you know what's the game plan there cuz i think so far you've dropped like a few projects uh in a short short space of time so i just wanted to find out about that like oh okay we've lost him again ah uh, this sucks this sucks this sucks this sucks but it's all love um thank you to everybody who has tuned in and um yeah man look at least we had a bit of a chat with the vanilist and uh we got to know him a bit better and we spoke about uh you know his career and all that and uh do 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 tune in next time um we'll probably have another interview with him when the network is on our side thank you so much and please